hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so today i'll be teaching us how to make this off shoulder layered sleeve a layered sleeve can have several layers but for this particular tutorial um this sleeve is going to be having four layers so let's get started now to make the layered sleeve you need to create like a background for um the layers which is going to be your basic off shoulder sleeve i've done a previous tutorial on that but i'll just do like um, a quick recap on how to draft an off shoulder sleeve so i am folding my pattern paper into two okay so the edge of my paper is supposed to be the sleeve head for my off shoulder sleeve now to get the amount of fabric that will go around from one um, point of your armhole to the other for the off shoulder sleeve you will subtract your upper bust circumference from your shoulder circumference okay so when i did that mine is seven but the paper is on the fold so i'll be marking 3.5 okay so and then next is to get the cap line to get the cap line you divide your bust circumference by by 12 and add 0.5 okay so approximately mine is four inches so i'll just mark that now on the average the sleeve head part the part where i marked 3.5 most people use 3.5 plus sizes for small sizes six okay so average is 3.5 then from here i'll be marking the length of my sleeve now ideally my normal long sleeve is 22 inches okay but you'll be subtracting five inches from that let me adjust my pattern paper okay so that we can see um, the illustration clearly so i was saying that my normal um long sleeve is um 22 inches okay but we're going to be taking um five inch away from that measurement okay so I'm left with 17 inches and I also need to take into consideration the off shoulder part too, okay? So this is going to be my sleeve opening for the off shoulder, um, off shoulder sleeve, okay? So now on the cap line, you're going to mark half of your armhole circumference measurements there. Then um, you're going to use your core driller to connect it to the sleeve head like this. So this is the part that will be attached to the armhole. Then the lower part here, okay, um, what you do is in between the cap line and the sleeve opening there, just mark half of your bicep measurements, then remove half inch from that and mark it here. It's not supposed to be like fitted, fitted kind of, okay? So here, then I'll just link this to the armhole, the cap line. So we have successfully dotted our off shoulder sleeve. So this will be cut on fold, okay? Then you'll be adding half one inch seam allowance there, then half inch. This is the armhole opening, okay? Half inch seam allowance. You also add half inch here, and of course half inch at the bottom here. So um, now let's go to the main um, part of the sleeve, which is the layering now to make a layered sleeve you're going to be cutting out either a half circle or a full circle okay so you open up the sleeve like this so the first layer of the peplum is going to be placed at the top here so you measure that seven inches so i'm going to record that measurement down so my first layer the circumference is seven inches okay then um for this tutorial we're having four layers so what i'll do now is i will measure from the top part that's from the sleeve head here I'll measure it down to the sleeve opening at the bottom there so um, already the bottom and the top part is two so I should have two layers in between so I'll measure whatever I have here and divide it into three okay 17 that's approximately um, it's not up to 6.5 I'll just, just do a rough estimation so I'll mark 6.5 here then the second one I won't make it 6.5 i think i'll reduce it to about three i'm sorry six inches so i'll just come up slightly so this is the first point here okay and then instead of 6.5 i'll just come up slightly okay so that should give me about um six okay 
so this is the second layer and then the third one instead of six like i said i'll make it um sorry instead of 6.5 i'll make it six yeah so um this is six okay so i have all the lines drawn out like this okay so we are going to continue now um like i said this is the first layer and the second third and fourth so for the second layer i'll place my tape about one inch above this line because the peplum is not supposed to be directly where the first peplum will stop you get so you go about one inch above that line and measure so um same thing for this one too i'll go about about one inch and write it down and of course i will measure the last circumference okay so this is 12 so i've written down all my measurements okay so we're going to be cutting either full or half circle with all this circumference um, measurements so i'll start with the first one which is um about 12 inches sorry did i say 12 7 inches i beg your pardon so um, i'm going to be cutting a full circle now the radius of a full circle is the circumference divided by 6.28 so you fold your paper like this into two okay so um this is the first fold like this and then you fold again now to prevent any form of wastage what you're going to do is you're going to measure the length of the radius plus the length of your peplum that way you don't waste fabric now um the first circumference there is seven and um the length of the peplum should go beyond that first line okay so that's about seven inches okay so the circumference is seven that's the sleeve head please divided by 6.28 so i am measuring the length of my radius which is the sleeve head seven divided by 6.28 that's about 1.9 thereabouts so i'm just doing sorry one point one something so i'm just marking 1.5 approximately that's the radius okay then i will now measure the length of the peplum which is seven mind you are cutting the first layer okay so i'm just marking like that so this is my first peplum for the first layer Okay, so I'll just um, cut out. Okay, so here. Um, yeah, we're done. So don't forget, it's the measurement on the sleeve here that we're using calculating the radius. Okay, this part here. Don't forget, please. Okay, so I'm going to open up the peplum i'm folding my sleeve like that and i'll open up one side of the peplum okay with my scissors that's how you're going to be opening it on the fabric then mind you for the first layer the peplum has to blend with the armhole okay so this is how you're going to place it on fold so like i was saying the first layer has to blend with the armhole so even if you have an excess is that you trim off the excess or you create splits okay so and then you fold like this so then you turn it upside down like that and make sure you trim off so it will blend with the armhole there that's for the first layer please this is applicable to just the first layer okay so here now to cut the other layers is the same process okay you measure the um circumference that does the length you measure here and this one too and you also use it to cut out the circles it's the same process circumference divided by 6.28 to give you a full circle so let me just show the second third and fourth layer that i cut out you can see that i labeled it please don't label your fabric with marker it's because this is a tutorial okay so here so i will transfer the main um sleeve to my fabric and i'll show us how to arrange it in preparation for the sewing okay okay so here i've transferred to my fabric okay so the same way i demarcated the lines on the pattern paper you should also do that with your fabric you can use your tailor's chalk so this is the first layer here 
you can see so you're gonna pin it to the top like this like i said if you don't want pleats you can trim off the excess okay but there's nothing wrong with having pleats or gathers you know it makes the peplum fuller so this is my first layer then for the second layer like i said previously you're not going to place the peplum exactly where the marking is you're going to go up one inch okay so that the first peplum will cover the second one same thing with the second one too. so i'm going to be marking all those points on the fabric make sure you use your tailor's chalk to do that so here i will mark that point where i'll be placing the peplum and same thing with the third layer okay so you also open up the peplum on one side like that and place on the second one okay so um same thing for the third layer you are going to um, pin it and the fourth one so this is how you can see i've already sewn them okay so i'll just um place it on the mannequin for us to see how it looks okay so this is how it looks it's so so beautiful like so beautiful so um if you like this tutorial please leave your comments in the comment section kindly share with your friends on your facebook and social media pages and do not forget to subscribe and then hit the notification bell thank you so much for watching bye